Welcome back for day five of the Now Foods Power Up Challenge. This is going to be our final day of the challenge, completing it with our eighth movement, going through the entire series just one last time. Let's get going. First movement in this series, we are going to do a reverse lunge with a curl. So how we're gonna do this is we're gonna take a step back, really gently tap that knee, stand up tall, curl those dumbbells in at the top. If you need to do an alternating dumbbell curl instead, that is totally fine. We're gonna be alternating our legs to go. All right, so we got 30 seconds on the clock. Starting that in three, two, one. Good, so you're either hitting those alternating arms or both arms at the same time. If your arms start to feel tired, it is totally fine to start going into single arm at a time or just keeping those dumbbells down by your side. Whatever works better for your body in this. We got three, two, one. Good, relax. All right, we got 10 seconds till we're back in to that reverse lunge and curl. Drop your weights if you need to, shake it out if you need to. Back on in three, two, one. Good, when you do that reverse lunge, know that it's fine for your chest to have a little bit of a lean forward. You don't need to be straight up and down, but you do wanna make sure that you're keeping your heel connected to the ground the whole time. Shouldn't have anybody up on their tippy toes. Good, 10 more seconds here, stay strong. We got three, two, one. Good, relax. 10 seconds rest, you got one more in you? Mm -hmm. What about you? No, no. yes, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> one more, going in three, two, one. Good, so remember to keep working with your body. If you need to drop those weights for the curl, if you need to alternate arms, if you need to slow down, make sure you're giving me quality reps. 10 more seconds. Ooh, my biceps. <laughs> Got five, four, three, two, one. Good, nice work. 10 seconds rest. <laughs> Going in to those renegade row push-ups. If you need to drop down to your knees, that's fine. For the plank or for the push-up, we're gonna go in three, two, one, so for that renegade row push-up in that plank position, you can have your feet as wide as they need to be for your hips not to wiggle. Wider they are, easier that'll be. Halfway through. Good, maybe give me one more set. Got three, two, one, good, relax. Breathe, shake it out. So if at any point you need to drop down to your knees, either for that plank or for the push-up, no problem. We're back on in three, two, one. Good, so this is great arm work and core work at the same time. Good. Good, so let's check Gina out. What Gina's doing here is perfect. Her hips are in line with her shoulders the whole time, keeping her core connected. Gina, you got one more, we got three, two, one. Good, relax. All right, one more set. Shake it, shake it out, a little shoulder massage. Back on, last one in three, two, one. Good guys, stay strong through this last one. It is totally fine to slow down, but keep going. Ten more seconds, maybe two more reps. We got three, two, one. Woo, killer. All right, moving on to our toe touches. You just need one dumbbell for these toe touches. We're gonna be lying on our back. She'll feel good. Back down, feet up. We are reaching up towards our toes, keeping our legs nice and long and straight. Our arms nice and long and straight. 
Make sure you're exhaling that air as you drive up towards your toes. Good, keep your lower back connected the whole time. 10 more seconds. Got three, two, one, good. Relax there. Take a second to shake your arms out. All right, get ready for round two. Legs up in three, two, one, and on. Try as best you can to not use any momentum when you drive that up. Really just getting that good core strength and work in. Try to keep your legs as straight as possible and straight up from those hips. Good, we got five more seconds. Three, two, one, good. Relax, deep breaths, shake out those shoulders. One more round. All right, feet up, going in three, two, one. Good, maybe you can get a little bit closer to your toes every single time. Can't say it enough that it is always gonna be about quality of movement over quantity. Good, guys. 10 more seconds, give me a couple more reps. We got five. Three, two, one, woo. We all have six packs now. All right, next one in this series is gonna be RDL. So back up on our feet, standing up tall. RDL dumbbells start in front of us. We're gonna go in three, two, one. So our RDL is gonna be a really deep hip hinge. Our knees just have a little bit of bend in them. Our back stay completely flat. When we go down, we should feel this huge in our hamstrings. Use our hamstrings and our glutes to drive yourself back up. Good, maintain that nice flat back the whole time. Come down nice and slow so you can feel that stretch to your hamstrings. Good guys, couple more reps. We got five, four, three, two, one. Good, relax. Remember during these rest periods, if you ever need to switch out a weight, grab some water. Back on in three, two, one and go. Good, so every time we come back, maybe you're working to breathe a little bit better, get a little bit deeper, maintain a flatter back, use a heavier weight. I know my hammies are starting to burn. Go work guys, almost there. We got about five more seconds. Go. We got three, two, one. Good, relax. All right, resting, we'll be back in in just about five. Last round here, going in three, two, one. Good, so on this last round, don't rush through. Keep your attention on your form, on that big stretch back through your hamstrings, big pull up through your glutes, on that nice flat back. Good, we're about halfway through. Good work, guys. Give me a couple more. We got five, four, three, two, one. Good, relax. All right, we're gonna go into our decline press. So decline press, you're gonna come down to the ground. Feet down, your hips are up in a glute bridge position. We're gonna start with our arms up and then we're gonna hit that floor press. So elbows when we come down should be out at that 45 degree angle. Exhale as you drive that up. So we shouldn't just be feeling our arms here, but also our glutes in a huge way. They should be supporting our spine, supporting our whole posture here. Good, keep those elbows at that 45 degree angle. We got three, two, one. Good, relax those down. Take a second. I'm gonna come over to Gina for this one. <laughs> We're back on in three, two, one, up. So see how Gina's knee, hip, and shoulder are all in that one straight line? That's super, super important. If her hips were to drop any lower, she's gonna start to feel that in her lower back. It's not gonna feel so hot. She's not gonna get that great arm work that this gives. She's also making her arms so they're in like a V position instead of a T. Gina looks perfect. She's crushing it. She's got five, four, 
three, two, one. Awesome work, Gina. We got one more. How's that booty feel? So good. We're back on in three, two, one, and up. Hips up. Good. Third round, best round. Good. Keep those heels nice and heavy. Halfway through here, guys. Big drive when you go up. All right, we got 10 more seconds. Keep those heels weighted, glutes up, squeezing, supporting. We got five, four, three, two, one. Good, relax. We're gonna be going into our alternating toe touch. So we actually don't need our dumbbells for this one. I know, goodbye. <laughs> We're gonna come up into a plank position, head into this alternating toe touch in three, two, one, so you're gonna take your right hand, reach it back to your left toe, butt comes up, and then right back down to that plank position. So we want our body to sort of go into that down dog position. Our butt comes up higher than our shoulders. And then when we come back down, we're right into a perfect plank position, not letting our hips dip, not letting our butt stay high. We got 10 more seconds. Try to really reach back to that toe. Good, we got five, four, Three, two, one. Good, maybe just drop your knees. Relax for a sec. How'd that one feel? So great. So good. I totally got a minute of it left in me. <laughs> We're going in three, two, one, and go. So maybe when you come back, you're a little bit more comfortable with that movement. Either you're moving a little bit faster or you are reaching back a little bit further sending your hips up a little bit higher, being a little bit more explosive. 10 more seconds. Strong glutes, strong core. We got five, four, three, two, one. Good. Woo. We're gonna hit one more. Working in. Three, two, one, final one, best one, always. Good. Good work, guys. Let yourself get more comfortable with that movement. And as you get more comfortable, get a little bit more daring. Good. Really try to reach further back. Get that little bit of rotation. Good, we got five, four, three, Two. Good, relax. <laughs> Back to our dumbbells, headed into those lateral lunges. Have a dumbbell in each hand here. We're gonna be going in three, two, one. So with that lateral lunge, you wanna step straight out from your opposite foot. Want both toes to stay forward, your chest to stay as upright as possible. I like to have my dumbbells on either side of my knee. If it feels better or more doable with both dumbbells on the inside of your knee, I have no problems with that. Good work, guys. Not an easy movement. We have five more seconds. We got three, two, one. Good, relax. Shake it off. Loosen that grip if you need to. Back on in three, two, one, and go. Good, so we definitely wanna push that knee forward, but you also wanna push your hip back. You should feel your inner thigh, outer thigh, glutes, all work in here. Also make sure you're really keeping that opposite side straight as you step out. Good work, guys. We got five more seconds. Three, two, one, whew. Relax, feeling it now. Last one, going in, three, two, one, good. So maybe you're getting a little bit deeper, maybe you're finding a little bit more strength as you push back up. Good work, guys. Check in with yourself, make sure you're stepping straight out from that foot. Guys, we've got five more seconds. Three, two, one. Good, relax. Whew. 
All right, day five this is going to be our final one that we've completed the entire series. We're going to have a side plank dip. We're going to get 15 seconds on each side, coming up into that side plank, dump up above your head. If not, that's perfectly fine too. Feet stacked, going in three, two, once you're in that side plank and then dipping that hip down to the ground with control, always keeping your shoulder out of your ear. If you need to take this down with no weight or just into a side plank, perfectly fine. We got three, two, one. Good, switch to that opposite side. Going in three, two, one and up. Good, try to get equal numbers on each side. If not, it's not a huge deal. We got three, two, one. Good, relax for your shoulders, for your core. Back to that opposite side. Working in three, two, one. So in this one, I'm gonna show you another option. Your feet can be stacked here if that's gonna feel better and more doable. Good, we got three, two, one. We're gonna switch those sides. Another option on this side is gonna to be to take a bent knee on the inside. There's always a way that you can do a really good side plank. No need for a crazy weight if you're not ready for that yet. We got three, two, one. Good. Relax, always have to finish a challenge with some really hard <laughs> core work, right? All right, last one, working in three, two, one, and go. Good, so all about that stability through your core, stability through your shoulder. Got three, two, one, and that opposite side. Gonna go in three, two, one, and up. Good work, guys. Stay strong, stay solid. We got three, two, one. Awesome, awesome work, guys. Thanks for sticking with me through this challenge. Gina, woo! <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me on the Now Foods Power Up Challenge. Awesome, awesome job.